Hello, I am the Dark Kingpin. And I'm the Dark Pharaoh. And sitting immediately in front of us is our brother, Cordelli. We're here today to talk to y'all about basically a crucial point in Naruto. With the big 600 chapter coming up, we would like to share our thoughts on who we think that is behind the mask that Toby wears. And also why it is not, cannot, and will never be, no matter how much the fanboys and fangirls of this topic want it to be, Obito. So, starting off with number one, we are going to show you Toby's power level. We're not show you, but talk about it. Through chapters 500 and 504, there is just no way Obito could turn into this alpha dog shinobi who mastered space-time teleportation within a one to two year time frame. There's just no way. He, he was 15 years old when he died. To extract the QB, hypnotize it, control like a puppet, and have it attack the summit wherever he wants, and he's supposed to be, is this supposed to be a two year time frame? It, it, it's just not possible. There's no way it could be him. The second plot hole, it's a, a major personality U turn, and you can observe this in chapter 241, page 19. The quote from Obito where he says, of course those in the ninja world who break the rules and regulations are called trash, but those who don't care about their companions are even worse than trash. That whole Will of Fire talk when he was talking to Kakashi. It makes no sense for him to suddenly manifest his unwavering vendetta against Konoha unless Toby is just using Obito's body as a vessel. By that, in, in which case, it's not really Obito, it's actually Toby's spirit just in Obito's body. So Obito has nothing to do with it. The third plot hole is uh, Toby's quote from chapter 501, page 7, in which he says, Do you have any idea how long I've waited for the moment? It's a complete contradiction for Obito to say something like that when, hypothetically, he wouldn't have been along to make that type of comment because Opito would have only been 15 years old at the time. And if he fought Minato at that time, Toby has probably been around for decades waiting for the opportunity for the QB to be extracted from its host. I mean, there's just no way he can make that comment as a child. It's, it's not possible. Plot hole number four. The QB Kuruma actually recognized Toby, chapter 501, page 8. The QB actually recognizes Toby and possibly knows who he is. If that doesn't convince you, nothing will. The QB made a direct transfer from being sealed into Mito, the first Okage's wife, to being sealed into Kashina. So there is a, a fundamental contradiction for the QB to recognize anyone in the outside world when it was sealed for all the time, all that time. If the QB actually recognized Toby, it means Toby uh, is, is someone who was alive during uh, the first Okage and Madara's generation. Plot hole number five. Toby's just too tall to be Obito. You can see this in chapter 503, page 9. Uh, Toby is shown to be an adult-sized human when he fought Minato, and on, on page 500, the same chapter, 503, page 5, you will see, no, page 9, you will see that uh, Kakashi, Gai, Suma, Kurena, all the other things they're tuning or getting at this time, basically they're in their adolescence and they're not that tall, they're like children size. And if Obito, if this was Obito, then he would have to be the same size. But Toby is just like a grown man. It, it's, it, it's not possible for him to be that tall. Well, Pot it's not number possible. Six. Shit. Minato would have probably figured, would have figured it out. Chapter Sorry, 500 to 504. If Toby was really Obito, then Minato would have probably figured it out when they were fighting each other. Obito was Minato's own student after all, and probably would have recognized his chakra, but he didn't. 
Plot hole number seven. This is his doing. This is said in chapter 560, page two. Martyr says this meaning that he actually knows who Toby really is, but there's no way for Martyr to have worked with Obito because Obito was born after Martyr was dead. And by the time Nagato got his Renegon, Martyr was basically officially dead. He said, I awakened my eyes shortly before my death. This is important because, sorry, excuse me. This is important because Nagato is older than Minato and Minato is older than Obito, meaning that Mara is older than Obito and Obito is younger than Mara, so it couldn't be, it, it just couldn't be. Plot number eight, uh, the first Okage comparison. Uh, chapter 462, page 14. Toby says to Naruto, I can see the first Okage in you. To make that type of comparison, Toby must have known what the first Okage was like as a person. Problem is, the first Okage was dead before Obito was actually born. Plot hole number nine. The whole during our battle thing. Chapter 512, page nine. This is something I grew from a living tissue I stole from him during our battle. Kabuto already showed Toby who was in the coffin. He showed him Mara's body that was in the coffin. So there was really no reason for Toby to keep lying to Kabuto. So if Toby had actually fought with Hiroshima, then it couldn't be Obito because Hiroshima was dead before his time. Uh, and... Uh Plot hole number 10. Yeah. He has, Toby has too much damn knowledge. It, it is impossible for Obito to know that much about the bloody history between the Uchiha clan and the Senju clan before Konoha was even established as a shinobi village. Toby has to be someone from either that generation or even before that. It is impossible for Obito to know so much about the Sage of Six Paths, his sons, the, the nine demons and the ten tails and the biggest fucking plot of them all plot hole number 11 Nagato is much older than Obito Toby has clearly stated I gave Nagato his Renegon if Obito had given Nagato the Renegon it, it's not possible Obito is too young, and he was alive during the, was it the Third Ninja War? No, yeah, Obito was in the Third. Yes, the Third Ninja War, and then Nagato was around during the, the second. second Ninja War when he got his. It's, it's not possible. I mean, there, he Kishimoto would have to do a lot of explaining if it was actually Obito, because that's just one big fucking plot hole. He just rolled into his own story. Now... For personal opinions, me, myself, I believe it's Azuna. That's just me. Dark Pharaoh? Uh, my opinion, I, I, I would think it could be Azuna. I mean, we don't know what what really happened. You know, Toby's known to be a liar. Modder didn't really confirm. I mean, well, he did confirm that his brother was dead. But then again, we, we don't know... What happened to Azuna? There's so many lies in the actual Naruto world. So many twists and turns. Half-truths. Half-truths that it could possibly be Azuna. Um, back to one of my other plot holes where I said a possibility that it could be uh, it could be Obito's body but a different soul. And now why do I say this? Well, let, let's, I mean, technically speaking, one comparison that people keep making is the fact that Kakashi has the Sharingan in his, I think, left eye, and Obito and Toby, I'm sorry, has it in his right. Now that is like one of the biggest coincidences that that it happens to be on his right side. Even though we saw when he fought Conan that he had two hmm. Sharingans in his eyes, you know. But then again, we know that Toby collected a mass collection of the Shar of Sharingans after the Uchiha clan massacre. And and so, you know, we really don't know that we also never seen Toby use Mangekyo Sharingan 
But we've seen Kakashi to have his Mangeku because that's how he's able to use Kamui. So could it be Obito's body? Possibility. But whose soul could it be? Well, a lot of speculating it could be one of the Sage's sons, which could make it, it could make sense because of the fact the Sage's sons, we, we know that one of the brothers, the older brother I thought fought, think, fought the younger brother. Older brother is, you know, evil. Now, uh, evil. Well, he just has a vendetta. He had a vendetta. Now, was it, now what does Toby's vend- what does that have to do with Toby's vendetta against Konoha? Well, if you think Toby is actually trying to do the master eye plan to put an if infinite Tsukiyomi, Tsukiyomi over the world, so you know it could be one of the sages' sons. It could be Azuna. You know, what's the same. But you know, you tell us, y'all tell us what you think. Who you think Toby could be? We're always open to suggestions. If you always think, if you still think it's Obito, even after these top 11 facts we're giving you, then hey, that's your opinion. We're not going to say anything about it. That's your opinion. But, you know what? Just, you know, leave your um, comments in the description box, in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. Um, Subscribe if you want to. And yeah, we'll keep bringing y'all videos. And, And please, please, before we end this video... Don't be one of those the most annoying commenters who put I'm I'm sorry to say this but ignorant and stupid ideas down in the comment box. Don't say that Toby is dry. Okay. Don't I, say Toby don't, is don't, okay. Orochimaru. Don't 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 take away people's. If that's what they think, then that's what they think. But eh, it's illogical. No, no, we're not doing that. If that's who you think it is, then that's who you think it is. There's no there's no wrong answer as they say. So, like always, I'm Dark Kingpin, this is Dark Pharaoh, signing off. Have a good day, y'all.